What have we learned? David, Jamie, just a terrifying situation impacting this entire community. Earlier in the day, two nearby schools forced into lockdown because of this incident. Now the people who live in this area wait for answers. Very scary. I can't imagine somebody just driving up and shooting. An unthinkable situation. Shelton is like, I moved here because it was such a quaint little cute community and this scares me. Donna Leah tells Fox 13 Seattle. She checked her camera around the time of the incident. Loud, loud gun noise. An unfamiliar sound. I just can't believe somebody like that is like walking around our community. That's scary. Throughout the morning, investigators say they search for a possible armed and dangerous suspect, even looking around the property of some neighbors. My wife woke up at about six o'clock this morning and dude was standing right there and she opened the window. He took off, ran right out that way and then took off down the road. Michael Hooten says he told the police about what his wife saw. They taped off his yard. It's kind of scary. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> Feeling many in this community share as officials released no suspect information and no one is in custody. That officer raced to the hospital this morning. Investigators say he had a gunshot wound in his torso area. Thankfully, he is going to live now. As we mentioned, that suspect is still on the loose and there is no information to identify that person. If you do have information, police ask you to contact them. Putting live here in Shelton, I'm AJ Janivelle for Fox 13 Seattle. AJ, thank you. This isn't the first officer ambushed recently in our region. In September, someone shot at a